down at the way I'm hoping you can walk me through and solve my situation. 
it's after midnight and I've been on hold so long you broke through the silence now I'm not alone you're asking So send somebody, cause I'm stranded and there's no place left where I can run. Send somebody, cause I'm hanging Check. by One, a two. thread.
Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Billy and Cindy's Garden Party. This is our third season, and tonight is our 22nd special guest. Tonight, it's Chris Bellamy, one of, a, one of our three-timers. This is our third season doing this together, Chris. Can you believe it? It's, it's crazy, right? Sure does. So a lot of our snowbirds have left, as you can see, uh, with our uh, audience cam, but we still have a few uh, diehards. Danny, thanks for being here. Moose. Moose is here. We were just doing uh, that uh, funny song, the, the uh, Ronnie Bowman song there. I uh, want you to love him like my dog. <laughs> he came up and started sniffing Chris when he, we were singing. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for being here, you guys. Uh, we're widening down now. We only have a th three more artists after this. Uh, next week is... Uh, uh, Robin Fear with her uh, special guest Shannon Battle and uh, David Goodman's going to make it a special appearance as well. Then Dave Fader and then our final uh, artist of the year, uh, a guy that does, has been doing it now for three years too, Erickson Holt will be here to, uh, to close the season off. So thanks for being here. I uh, thought I'd start off here with a song I do by Mark Cohn. Writing you this letter from this old hotel. I can feel the distance between us. From the Spanish steps to Liberty Bell, I know the angels have come to see us. See us, baby. Seen you down on 7th Avenue Looked like you were hanging by a thread Sitting here in this lonely room Without a view Wishing I was there with you instead Won't you walk through the world with me? Walk through the world Over the miles of history, walk through the world with me. For rooftops, I've seen the writing on the wall. Heard a little bit of thunder at the seventh wonder, and everything is bound to rise and fall. That's all. Don't you walk through the world with me? Walk through. Over the mountains, through the shining sea, walk through the world with me. Walk on, walk on, walk on, walk on, walk on. Out of my ears, get the stars out of my eyes. Gonna look back over the years, 
you right there, steady by my side. Oh, won't you walk through the world with me? Walk through the world over the miles and the mystery. Shining sea, walk through the world with me. Walk through the world with me. Walk through the world with me. Thank you very much. Mark Cohn did that one. I think it was his second album. Everything going smooth there, Sid? Everything good? Now look at Moose. He's got a new buddy. <laughs> so as I've been saying uh, all, all for the past... Uh, Couple months, I have this album of uh, cover tunes and some originals, and I'm selling them for 25 bucks for our donation towards our garden party guests. And uh, this is one of my new originals. It's two years old, so it's new though for me. <laughs> I think the best part of this, of the songwriting on this one, at least for me, was a, a true, a true story. We have we were been married for 47 years, and on our inside our wedding rings, we had engraved. Grow old along with me on Cindy's, and on mine it says, "For the re the best is yet to be." And I was able to to uh, incorporate that into this song. Who was it that uh, that was a quote from? Sir? Yeah, Robert Browning. Anyways, it was uh, one more thing about this song is that I dreamed it. I woke up in the middle of the night with the, with the song title. That doesn't happen very often, maybe twice in my life. It's called You and Me in Paradise. That would have sucked. Take two. <laughs> been together a long time and still you're always on my mind we've been down this road before I know there's so much so much more it's just you and me you and me in paradise All the people that we've met And all those good times with no regrets There's one thing I know for sure That our love is always pure One day we'll look back, back in time Just you and 
a song that I did uh, with Paul Case. We did a record called The Rhythm of Life. And I uh, found this song from a Nashville songwriter. Her name is Gretchen Peters. And I love the, the, uh, the story behind it, you know, the, uh, the commercialization of, uh, of everywhere you go now. There's just signs and billboards and T-shirts and <laughs> reminded me of a lot of... Uh, Key West and a lot of the other places that you go, you know, the tourist trap places. We all we all go though, and we all love it. I'm not. I got nothing against it, but I just thought this was a good, cool song to sing. It's called Souvenirs. the wrong song here. Hold on. Old 
that's all we got here Old mother's way to find my heart And all I get is I believed in you I thought you believed in me I thought we had a love so true Not a close facsimile Now I don't want your dime store ring It only turns my fingers green And I don't want your dime store love I want the real thing Cause I've been searching for the promised land But it's just in another New York Come on, roadside stand Little tin toys that fall apart That's all they've got here I've come all this way to find my heart But all I get is Here's another original song here. Uh, this was written uh, during the times when I used to travel back, we used to travel back and forth from uh, my hometown of Syracuse to the Keys and back, back and forth for 15 some odd years before we bought the house. I'll start doing that again pretty soon too. Make a little stops along the way. Sometimes we'd stop and see Chris when he was up there in North Kakalaki. Another place we used to like to go to was a place called Hunting Island, Fripp Island. It's it's near Beaufort, Savannah, the Low Country they call it. And uh, we stopped going there. After a couple of years, I really was missing it. I still miss it to this day. I'd like to go back. We used to bring our RV there and uh, park it on the beach. Twenty bucks, twenty bucks a night. I wonder how much it is now. <laughs> and a boat to go with it. <laughs> Anyways, it's called Carolina.
southern way. Carolina. Like a band of gypsies, we were free. I hope that she's still. Trying to trying to make it a little little subtle. It, it, trying to you know once you didn't hear the music, then you could hear it. But you mean this? You mean this? You mean this?
somebody long Somebody must change You are the reason I've waited all these years Somebody holds the key And I'm near the end And I, I just ain't got the time and I can't find my way home oh, oh. Come down off the stone And leave your body home Somebody has to change being here for the garden party third season Chris Pell will be coming up in just a, about 10 minutes or so just got to change things around thanks for being here with us we'll be right back
Yeah, yeah. All right, folks. Here he is, Mr. Chris Bellamy. Uh, Chris and I have known each other for a number of years. Chris uh, was coming down for years and years playing in Key West and uh, Lorelei, and uh, we became good friends back in the, geez, in the 90s, I guess. Oh, yeah. 25, 30 years yeah. ago. <laughs> and Chris is a great fisherman, too, as well. He's a uh, fishing captain, and uh, but he also his main thing is his songwriting. He's a great songwriter and a singer and a stylist. Just a, the stuff that Chris does is uh, everybody loves. So uh, without further ado, please welcome to the stage Mr. Chris Bellamy. Hey, thank you all. I appreciate it. Yeah, and you folks out there on Facebook land, I sent out about 30 or 40. <laughs> email links just a minute ago and text and what have you so uh sure to let us know you're out there and uh it's free <laughs> <laughs> it's our mascot mr moose man joe yeah Feel quick, feel quick, Marina. Chris's cousin Billy and Aunt Joe are right. Yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's so cool, be able to do that. You know, yeah. I, I honestly, it's more than likely Billy's iPhone or Joanne's computer because she has a, she has one of those old flip phones. <laughs> I know. It. She refuses to con. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah. Uh, Billy's going to come out here and pick a few feet tunes with me to start with. I figured, or how are we doing that, Billy? Oh, last half hour, I'm sorry. I've had three beers. I had to get settled down. called a southern coast of mexico it's a a long time ago before i started coming to the keys I, I worked with a gentleman named mr ernie whalen who owned meridian seafood out of new york the world's largest importer of seafood to the united states and canada and all over the place and he had a 70 foot viking called a cheetah in cabo san lucas and so i used to go to his house in cabo his son was a captain, I was a mate, and Ernie was the angler, and there was three of us on that boat. And then afterwards, I'd go over to the Giggling Marlin play a show. I was making 100 bucks a week in Mexico in 1995. That was just enough to be dangerous. <laughs> but after all of those, you know, I... Years later, I wrote this tune called The Southern Coast of Mexico about all his memories. On the southern coast of Mexico There is a little town I know Where I go from time to time To ease my mind Sky's blue, and I won't have to think of you. Where the senoritas they will pour your wine. It happened not too long ago on a trail outside of El Paso. The sun was slowly setting in the west. I saw a silhouette of her in the evening dance a lot that stirred the way I haven't felt for many years oh do you know where to find her oh she left me here behind it wasn't meant to be this way 
why she couldn't stay It was a love so hard to find Truly it was one of a kind With a passion of a thousand hungry souls A prisoner held in ecstasy Of a woman who could only be Someone I had known in another time some good times and I'm glad I'm still alive. <laughs> Had the number one off this, I guess, about 2016 with Larry Simpson. I'd rest his soul in a, and a very great promoter named Gary Bradshaw. From Nashville, he had a, a place called uh, he had a, a charting service called uh, Cashbox, and knew everybody in the world and knew how to put songs in the right place. I myself never picked a number one song of mine. I've had eight in uh, in country Americana, but Larry and Gary sure did know where to put stuff. And this is one of them. <laughs> Everybody's friends 
man that say, hey man, don't let life get you down. Now where the locals say, tomorrow's another day. The longer I'm here, the more I want to stay. And it's just a blue kind of daydream down here by this old just like the wind, you blew me away. Just like a cold front that came through, the weather changed and so did you. So I came down here for a different point of view. fishing gear my favorite rock will give a nod telling me there's other fish out in the sea and it's just a blue kind of daydream down here by this old gulf stream and I don't know what came over me Once in a while I still think about How we tried to work things out Sometimes I wonder What became of you This old gulf stream and I don't know what came over me. Once in a while, I still think about how we try to work things out. Sometimes I wonder what became of you. And sometimes I think I see your point of view. Over you acquainted with, uh, with the findings of Mel Fisher over the years. Um, $440 million worth of gold, silver, and emeralds from the Dry Tortugas to Sebastian, Florida. And then lately here off the Carolina coast, there's been another find, hopefully and most likely belongs to the Queen Anne's Revenge. And Blackbeard, Edward Teach, lived in a little town called Bath, North Carolina. My mama is from Bath. And, of course, he, he was gone long before she was born, but, but I don't doubt that Dar Spelling had a little pirate in her. <laughs> I mean, it is up behind Little Washington on the, on the Pamlico Sound. It's up in that general neck of the woods. Yep. And so, uh, so anyway, I heard about the news, and I had written a song a while back. It's off the Blue Water World album called On the Carolina Coast. And it's about fishing and treasuring and pirates and all that stuff, and it goes like this. Three, four. Okay. 
Carolina coast is a place I often go I feel inside the peace of the wind and the tide At night the stars shine bright Far away from city lights And I can feel the ocean in my soul Sometimes when things get so complicated Well, I can get so frustrated When the pieces of the puzzle won't fit Sometimes it makes me want to quit Then I feel the ocean in my soul Well, it's just a day away A place where dolphins play A place where Spanish ponies still abound Ferry across the south to that island town where the magic of the ocean waits for me song called uh, the pirate song but I, I right now I can't remember the words to it but got some friends up in Felsmere I hope some of them are watching uh, whatever airboating buddies that 
the swampers, you know, and, and some years ago, they had this, we were sitting on the back porch, Brian Herndon and J.C. Scarborough lived out in Felsmore, and we got, I had this old pocket knife, you know, and, and they had, they had one of these. This is a yellow handle case pocket knife. It's one of the, you can't hardly find them. I, I lost this one for a while. And I tore the house and a yard and a shop apart for three months looking for it. And um, I couldn't find it. I was ill in a hornet. And uh, later I went down to Carter's, which is down by Okeechobee, and bought me another one. And no sooner than I did, they, uh, I found my, my, my old knife. And it was kind of cool the way it happened. Because out in, in the blue bag in my dream lady boat, which I've been wrestling with getting straightened out here lately, I opened it up to find my, my captain's license and my registration, and there was my original yellow handle pocket knife. And uh, I called Brian and said, man, I just found this. I told you you would as soon as you bought another one. So I wrote, the, I wrote this song a while back, and I haven't recorded this yet. It goes like, it's, called a, it's called In the Country. It will probably, when it finally makes it out on an EP, uh, it'll probably probably be called Yellow Handle Pocket Knife. And it goes like this. In the country In the country, in the country, you can be here for a while. I said, thank you, ma'am, I appreciate it at the feed store today. You're welcome, son, come on back, you're open every day. You're new in town, I do believe. I ain't seen you around before. Have a piece of candy as she closed the register drawer. There was a tractor truck out in the street, sitting on the horn. Well, I gotta go, I'm in the way of that truckload of hay. She shook her head and laughed and said, Son, you take your time. He can cool his jets, just let him sit. Gonna be there for a while, cause in the country. In the country. In the country. You can be here for a while. Pulled on out of his way, drove on down the street. Well, I bought a brand new pocket knife like my buddies had that day. A carbon steel double blade, yellow handle case that I'd keep in my pocket to remind me of these days in the country. In the country. In the country. Just let him sit, he's only come ten miles I've been waiting on him all day Said he'd be in here at eight But it's supper time and I close the gate and he can sit and wait And he can contemplate and meditate On the reason he's so late Calls in the country In the country in the country, you can be here for a while. In the country, in the country, in the country.
yellow handle pocket knife song. Yeah, that was a. Uh, that one, and then there's this other new one. Fairly new. New to me, and it's different from new to y'all. <laughs> uh, it's called Meet Me in Miami. And I wrote this for Janet a couple of years ago, and this will be on the. When I finally get around to settling down enough to between fixing boats and patching holes in the roof and this, that, and the other, eventually I'll make another record of some sort. Let's see how, what format it's released on. But have you ever been in love with somebody and, and, you, and you get separated from them and then you really realize how much you care and that changes everything? So that's what this song's kind of about. Last time that I'd seen you, your blue eyes, hoping you still cared. It felt so good to finally put my arms around you and hold you in the warm Miami air. It was all that I could do to keep it together, not break down in front of everybody there. In my heart, I knew that I was lucky. Run my fingers through your curly hair So meet me in my hammy If only for one night Before you sail away to somewhere Right out of my life Meet me in Miami And everything will be alright Meet me in Miami to go and see my friends down in Key Largo, drink a beer, sit there and pretend that I wasn't going to miss you, but I couldn't do it in the end. The farther off I sailed, the deeper my heart sank, I couldn't finish the beer I tried to drink. My heart hurt, thinking you were gone forever. Standing on the brink, so meet me in my hammy. If only for one night, before you sail away to somewhere right out of my life. Meet me in Miami, and everything will be all right. Meet me in Miami. Be with me Appreciate it, y'all. Yeah, that was 
one of those four-day rides. I usually ride a song about 15 minutes. That took the better part of a week, but it had to be just right. I had to do some pretty work along there. <laughs> Back to Key Largo, you know, I started coming down here. I played up in the mountains for a while in the wintertime, and it was entirely too cold to grow park in during ski season. And I, I got so many told people told me, so you got to go to the Keys. You fit in like a glove down there. And so I went, and I met Billy and Paul and John Lotney and, and Sam Milner. I, were, I was a longtime friend of Sam's, and I know, man, I never see him. I haven't seen him forever. Yeah, and then and then Steve Webb shortly after that, and, and we're all you know we're all still friends today. And so, uh, Mr. Gunky enters the picture. Yeah, oh, wow, Gail over at Ballyhoo's. I know she, Gail's moved. She now resides in Montreal, I believe. Um, I just got her new phone number the other day. She um, she introduced me to Gunky, and Gunky gave me a place to park my motorhome for a whole lot of years. He sure did. That's how that happened. And uh, so uh, the, the Dukes of Key Largo, I'll, I'll try to keep it short. The Dukes of Key Largo is the name, if you've ever seen my airboat on the rudders, is that's what it is. It's called the Dukes of Key Largo. And that was a um, that was a group that Gunky and Johnny Snyder and, and uh, a handful of other guys Created as a stunt team, to, and it was a takeoff on Dukes of Hazard. So, uh, oh yeah, well, oh yeah, man, I got pictures I'll show you. Oh yeah, that's how it has come about. And then I, I, I come down here, and I got, I always, I had seen like the first episode of Flipper with Dennis Weaver as the uh, park ranger, and he had an airboat, and I was about seven or eight years old. And I think completely captured my imagination. You know? <laughs> huh? Oh, man, I wanted, and I had to have it. So Gunky made that. He turned me on to this, a whole bunch of people out at the Airboat and Club and on 41 and on and on and on. And, 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 it, and I have spent just about every nickel I've ever made on boats and guitars and, <laughs> and uh, stuff like that and motorhomes and coming down here play hanging out with y'all and but it's but it, it was gunky made a lot of it possible and uh here's a little song off the dukes of key off the wait a minute it's off the album called down in the keys with key players and uh you can all this music i've written as i've played so far is available on spotify and apple music and everything else out there it's a uh, so please check that out there's 131 songs on on spotify you can go Listen to, it won't cost you a dime. Duke's Key Largo, which is only about four blocks from here, the physical location. Sunsets beneath the harvest moon, the ten thousand islands in Florida's lagoon. Sitting in the shade of the umbrella tree. The geckos, they remind me of the way things used to be. The gunkies' friends, they stop by. Hey, let's go get a drink. Ballyhoo's or the ocean view. You never really know. Just get into the truck, they 
say, it'll be all right. A third world kind of attitude, a tropical with the hat and that's what I on the record uh, some we were recording all this stuff live straight up no rehearsal whatsoever and uh, and Gunk and Gail were at the Holiday Inn in, down in Key Largo and and I and Bradley was there I forget I think Steve was there I'm not sure if, if you or if Paul were there or not I can't remember but um there's a crowd and there was some drinking going on and Gunky had this this cowboy hat that was all beat up and just about beat up as him, you know. And and uh, and I said, a guy with a hat. I stay in his backyard most of the time. <laughs> yeah, we got a backyard dweller now ourselves. Mr. Scott Skiba, he's my mandolin player. <laughs> become a, come on, he become a musician and lived a life of, of stardom in my backyard or yours. <laughs> or oh, yeah. <laughs> So just to the to the west and a little bit to the north is the Everglades, and man, it's uh, I spent a good amount of time over there in, in uh, Flamingo uh, back in the day, in the late nineties to early two thousands, fishing with a guy named Jerry B. D. Basquale. And of course, he's a Cajun, but uh, he was he knew that place. How he learned so much in twenty years. I mean, it's it's unlearnable. There's so much of it. The ten thousand islands and and the way up to Everglades City, it's just incredible once you get back in there. Um, you hear sounds, you don't know what they are, and you see stuff, you don't really remember what and what the hell is that, you know. And, but uh, but I had, uh, there was some, back in the 20s, there was some moonshiners. Moonshining was rather prolific down this neck of the woods. And so one gentleman was Mar um, John Ashley, and then the other fellow, or other other person, John Ashley's girlfriend, was uh, Laura Up the Grove, and she lived up by Okeechobee. John Ashley lived in Felsmere, 
is where he hit out at the Felsburn Inn, which I had played in and, and had my own experiences there that rather of the supernatural force possibly. I'm not sure what them noises were. But Janet was with me and Gene Wolock. And uh, the first song I'm going to play for you is the Ballad of John Ashley. John got shot dead by the sheriff of Port St. Lucie County in 1924 on November 30th on the Sebastian River Bridge. And the reason he got caught there is because his girlfriend, Laura of the Grove, Queen of the Everglades, thought that he was taking entirely too much liquor to Jacksonville, Florida, and there must be another woman involved. So, <laughs> it was, mind you, there was no telephone, there was no internet, there was no nothing. She just, it's, what's that called, a woman's intuition? So the, uh, the, the, the moral of that story is don't piss off your girlfriend. <laughs> Here we go with this ballad to John Ashley, and it goes like this. Wind and lightning howling in the air. Well, I saw a sign way up ahead, couldn't tell quite what it said. Got a little closer, feels near. Well, I heard back in the 20s, the Ashley gang hung out around here. John Ashley had a liquor still in the swamp out near Phil's Mere. I saw a light on down the ways. Maybe someone was there. Looked to be an old inn downtown. Fills me. Through the rain, I ran up to the door. A voice said, Come on in. It's mighty good to see you, my old friend. You're going to be staying with us. It's mighty bad out there tonight. Got a key right here, I'll just go turn on the light. Well, I started hearing voices, someone was watching me. Then the bar was full of people drinking with John Ashley. They said he got killed back in 24 on the bridge outside Sebastian all together. John Ashley wore a black patch from a bullet in the eye. Robbery down at Stewart and into mobster guy. The bullet nearly killed him, but he refused to die. Then on he wore that black patch over his glass eye. Well, I started hearing voices. Someone was watching me, and the bar was full of people drinking with John Ashley. They said that he got killed. On the bridge outside Sebastian, all together they were four. Well, I don't remember much of what happened after that. We'd take a drink of whiskey every time the thunder cracked. Well, I woke up the next afternoon in a chair propped about back. Sitting in my lap was a glass eye in my hat. Oh, good Halloween song. <laughs> But then the flip side of the rest of the story, if, if those of you are old enough to remember who Paul Harvey was. Paul, <laughs> Paul, the rest of the story. So, uh, so Laura had all this information, and then the sheriff of uh, Fort St. Lucie County started saying, well, how do you know so much? So he went to see her, and it did not end well, and here's the rest of that. I'll let the song do the talking on that one. <laughs>
the glades One night I gave a ride To a man that I saw thumbing Standing on the side Highway 41 It won't no place to be This here is the story That he told to me and the crops That woman had the will to run a liquor still They say that Laura up the grove won't afraid to kill She was the queen of the Everglades With that liquor that she made five men a whiskey with a double game To the queen of the John Ashley stayed. They fired double buckshot. John Ashley got away through a trap door in the back room, slid off in the Everglades. He was a queen of the Everglades. With that liquor that she made, found that a whiskey. Nobody really knows. They say she took her own life, or did she just get away to the devil's hideout, way out in the glades? She was the queen of the glades. The little girl that she made found it a whiskey. Again, that's Chris Bellamy right there playing all his great, great songs and the great stories, too, that go along with it. All right, so uh, we're going to take a little five or ten minute or here to uh, get in place, and uh, the two of us are going to finish the night off. Thanks for being here, guys, with us. Don't forget to donate. We're doing pretty good. We're, we're down to just three people. I think I, I, think I saw it was $4,000 we've raised this season so far to pay all our musicians. So keep it coming, and we'll be right back. Thanks. Thanks, y'all.
Chris, we're ready when you are. Sitting here with Chris Bellamy, one of my good buds. Hi. Hey, Annie. Blast from the past. We got our old friend who uh, showed up. Oh, these. man. Back in Ballyhoo I, I, days. I, I see that. I see that. <laughs> we got talking to do. Yeah, that's right. I got some catching up. <laughs> Well, once again, folks, uh, thanks for joining us uh, at the uh, Billy and Cindy's Garden Party, our third season. Uh, we're winding down. We have uh, just three more guests after Chris tonight. And that was uh, next week. It's Robin Fear with sh her special guest, Shannon Battle. And then uh, David Goodman's also going to stop by and do a little cameo for us, too, as well. That should be cool. And then uh, the last two uh, musicians we have are uh, Dave Fader and three years in a row. And uh, he's going to close the show. And... Uh, I'm going to get two days off for six months, and I need it. <laughs> I'm sure you do. And I uh, just want to remind any, anybody that happens to be in the Keys or anybody that happens to want to just take a trip down to Key West to see the Key West Songwriters Festival. It starts the first week of May and on Wednesday. It's a five-day music festival of the not the artists, but the people that write the songs. It's pretty awesome, so put that on your calendar if you want to. Any more information on that, just get a hold of me, and I'll try to help you out. And uh, so... Enough, enough. Oh, yeah, and, and make sure you donate all the money that we, all the proceeds that come uh, through uh, the tip jar that we have here at the live audience or out there in, in uh, Facebook and YouTube land. You know, donate if you can. Um, I just mentioned earlier that uh, we've been able to pay every musician that's played and magician. We've had Michael Trix here last week. 150 bucks. We give them 150 uh, for uh, for their talents, and uh, all of it's because you guys are donating to make it happen. So thanks for doing that. And I'm, I'm upset. All right, well, let's see here. All right, where's Moose? He Did had to go. He had to go. Oh. Natalie was here, but Natalie had to go, and she had to take Moose. But yeah, Moose was. Uh, yeah, we had an encounter with our our uh, inherited adopted dog. 
Yeah, we started playing this song earlier. Uh, Love me like my dog and moose came up and nudged. Give me a nudge. And then he laid right down there and hung out with us. I feel honored. <laughs> Scotty Hembrick, I think. Did he no, Bob, uh, uh, Ronnie Bowman. Ronnie Bowman. We see him every year, so I know. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I, I got a hold of this song from Scotty, and then, uh, and then called Billy Currington had a cut on it, a big a hit, and I had a number one off of it, and then uh, Jimmy Buffett put it on his, on his last record. Album. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cindy, do me a favor and research that for me. The songwriter, love me like my. I want you to love me like my dog. I'm pretty sure it's Ronnie Bowman because we see him every year do it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's a writer. Yeah. It is. A, yeah. It's a great song, man. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get it right. If it's not perfect, blame it on me. Right. <laughs> I screwed him up today when we worked on this one. It's my fault. That's all good. Ready? All right. Don't you get off that couch Don't cause me nothing when he wants to go out Won't you to love me like my dog He never says you need a new attitude Him and my sister ain't always in a feud I leave the seat up, he don't think that it's rude you to love me like my dog does, baby. When I come home, want you to just go crazy. He never looks at me like he might hate me. Want you to love me like my dog. He never acts like he don't care for my friends. He never asks me where the hell have you been. says why don't you make more money he always thinks to put my fingers funny won't you to love me like my dog he don't get mad at me and throw a major fit when i say sisters a bitch Sisters of B. Won't you love me like my dog does, baby? When I come home, want you to just go crazy. He never looks at me like he might hate me. Won't you love me like my dog? Moose. Come here, Moose. together in the, is it the first month of summer or is it June uh or? it's or you're going to be doing my july dates with steve and i'm then you're going to be doing steve's dates with me in august so we'll be doing the there's pretty some, much the whole yeah bunch there's of, some coming up in june yes you have a june the june day i'm going to be gone you're filling in for me in june yeah okay I did we find out who the, the wrong writer was was it ronnie bowman it was scotty emmerich right, well, damn i can't believe that uh, Maybe it was Ronnie probably Bowman. A co -writer probably on, Ronnie yeah. Bowman. No. Yeah. In Nashville, it's real. It's real rare to write a song by yourself in Nashville. This is true. <laughs> yeah, this right. is true. All right, we're through the hard part now. We can play. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we have. Yeah. We won't even. We won't go into that. <laughs> Here we go. Live in a beach town.
live in a daydream Chasing those moonbeams Living well beyond my beams Wearing my blue jeans My hat and my flip-flops Nobody makes a suit and tie for me Now I like to sleep late No getting up at daybreak I like to roll over About a quarter past eight Listen to the phone ring Sometimes I'm not answering Sometimes it's just another form of deja vu Life in a beach town Is better than downtown it's kind of like I thought it would be Boats and the ocean Suntans and lotions All the sort of things People want to see Life in a beach town Is better than downtown And there's lots of people here just like me Boats and the ocean Suntans and lotion All the sort of things people want to see
must know that song, you know. <laughs> Billy the Davidson. Hey. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I know. My, I'm, I'm the world's worst at over the years morphing into another arrangement. <laughs> I send Billy or Steve or whomever my song. Oh, well, here's, here's the stuff, and then it don't go like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, holy moly. Yeah. All right, this next one is Island Fever. I mean, Island Information, rather. And, uh, Island Fever we, uh, Music. Yeah, yeah, Island Fever Music. But uh, after coming down here uh, and, and meeting Billy and Paul and Steve and John Malachny, and, and uh, the list is long, and too long to name here, but uh, a lot of people. And uh, fortunately, some of them are still with us and some of them are gone. But... Uh, they, everybody inspired this on Island Information because I, um, you had to have information about this place. The internet was really not like it, nothing like it is now. And you had to go meet people like Steve and Susie, you know, and, and, um, and Annie over there. I had to come down here and meet these people, Billy and Steve, and get to know them and hopefully, eventually, get a job. And it, it only took 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Only other place I've been is harder to get a job, a ste you know, relatively steady following jobs is Nashville, and I'd rather be here by any by stretch of imagination. Here we go. Yeah. 
Afterwards, oh, I said, great line afterwards. Yeah, right. Holy moly! Ay, ay, ay. Annie, have you got anything from the old days you want to hear that you remember? I know it's been a long time. I may have, and I, and, and I hopefully I'll remember it. It's been a day or two. It's so good to see you. Ah, oh, all right. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Now, so I'll just pitch that song to Dennis Ledbetter, who is. Uh, a Bayou Cajun artist and uh, of some considerable fame, but man of simple means is uh That's pretty much it. Okay, I'll find This is a song you. that uh I wrote in the early 90s, there was a love song ballad. I must have married off a whole uh, tribe of people to this song over the years. You know, it was my wedding song. And, and thank you, Annie, for remembering that. I appreciate it. It's a, it's a take you back a ways, and it goes like this. Saw you early on Sunday Walked down to the corner store To get a paper and some coffee To find out last night's ball game scores I saw you picking out some flowers You turned and softly said hello your perfume lingered in the cool air And the sun danced off your hair I tried to think of something catchy Something to sweep you off your feet well, This is all that I could think of Lord, I could barely even speak would you like to fall in love with a man of simple means to go to movies and to dinner, walk in the park and wear blue jeans? Cause this is what I have to offer. No motor yachts or limousines. I will love you forever I am a man of simple means Would you like to 
in love with a man of simple means to go to movies and to dinner walk in the park and wear blue jeans this is what I have to offer no more hot love you forever. I am a man of simple me. And I will love you forever. I am a man of simple me. Thank you so much. That's reaching back there ways. Yeah. Sure enough. So we could. <laughs> Thank you, darling. <laughs> Woo what do you want? What do you do, Billy? Well, we have the garden party theme, and we have, we're talking about Down the Keys, but we don't have to do that. If you want to do something else besides Down the Keys for her, that's fine. You tell me. Let's do whatever. I'm with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's do, let's do Down in the Keys since we're here. Or you want, have we got time for both? Oh, yeah. One of Down the keys in garden part we should do. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> what are y'all talking about out there? <laughs> We're going to do a Paul Case song. And uh, and uh, he wrote this by himself, is that right? Or did you have he did, no, he wrote it. Oh, gotcha. That's it. It's all him. And I first heard Billy and Paul play this uh, eons ago. I'm telling on our, our age here. And then... One night in the old Lorelei restaurant, the one that I think Wilma took out. Grand Slam. Yeah. Wow. I wish that place was still there. Uh, they were, yeah, I think we, the New Year's Eve party got moved in that night. And I was camped out with uh, a handful of people out in the parking lot with the, motor, the first motor on, the second one went on. And uh, Chris Klingenberger and Terry and Gene Woodbury, all that. Oh, my God. I don't wonder we're still functioning. But uh, we went to the party, and, 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 and Billy and Paul had me up on stage to sing uh, Down in the Keys. And it was a big honor for me, you know. And, wow. So I cut it later. Uh, on uh, the, And the name, Chris Bellamy Live with Key Players Down in the Keys. And it's, uh, you can hear that on, on uh, Spotify and, uh, it's here, and uh, Apple Music, the whole, whole place. <laughs> It goes like this, sort of, kind of. This is my arrangement of it. Then Billy and Paul's got one a little bit, a little bit different too. But it's all about the same. Okay. Yep. All right. So here we go. This for you, Paul, up yonder. I know you're looking at them, going, "Look at them two guys." <laughs> Oh, that 
that big killer song surrounds all my days. Lots of wonders spinning ahead. I see the seabirds flying as I sit here riding. My baby loves me, this I know. I can't help, but she couldn't go. She sees a stuff bird fly as she sits there. Making love on the telephone. My baby's saying, Won't you please come home? But I'm down in the key. Can you come down? Thank you so much, guys, once again, for uh, being here at the show. Uh, once again, uh, next week we have Robin Fear and Sh Shannon Battle with special guest David Goodman and then followed by Dave Fader and then Erickson Holt. And that'll be the end of our season. Uh, please keep donating. Uh, we're pretty much running even right now with everybody. We had just enough money to pay you tonight. <laughs> That's a good thing. Well, I'll be. Thank and we you. just got a couple more to go, so just keep that money coming if you could. Appreciate it, and uh, we're going to leave you here with the, the uh, garden party theme here. Change this guitar here. Sounded good, dude. Sounded good, brother. Yeah, man. It sounded amazing out there. Cindy was kept on going. Chris's guitar sounds amazing. <laughs> it really did sound good out here. Oh, yeah. yeah that's that's I mean, a, the good, voice that's is good. a good sound. My, my good friend uh, Tom Razy was listening to it with a surround sound. He goes, tell, make sure you tell Chris it sounds amazing. Oh, wow. Thank He's you. Down in his basement listening in his Sweet. man cave. I want to give a special shout out to my buddy Tom Razy, uh, who's uh, up in New York. Watching. He watches every show. And he always uh, gives me a pointers or anything that needs, you know, if there's anything going on, it's, I can always count on him. Thank you, Tom, wherever you are. Very much obliged.
I went to a garden party to reminisce with my old friends. A chance to share old memories, play our songs again. When I got to the garden party, they all knew my name, but no one recognized me. I didn't look the same, but it's all right now. Learn my lesson well. You see, you can't please everyone, and so you got to please yourself. People came from miles around. Everyone was there. And Yoko brought her walrus. There was magic in the air. And over in the corner, much to my surprise, Mr. Hughes wearing Dylan's shoes and wearing his disguise. But it's all right now. I learned my lesson well. You see, I can't please everyone, so you got to please yourself. Everybody sang and went, la da 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 Well, I play the Molly old songs, but that's why I came. But no one heard the music. We didn't look the same. And I said hello to Mary Lou. She belongs to me. But when I sang a song about a honky tonk, well, it was time to leave. But it's all right now. Learn my lesson well. You see, you can't please everyone, so you got to please yourself. One more, they all sang along. Well, someone opened the closet door and out stepped Johnny Be Good. He was playing his guitar like a ring of a bell and looking like it should. So if you gotta play our garden parties, I wish you a lot of luck. As if memories were all I sang, I'd rather drive a truck. But it's all right now. Yeah, I learned my lesson well. You see, can't please everyone. So you got to please yourself. Oh, it's all, it's all right now. Cause I learned my lesson well. You see, you can't please everyone. And so you got to please yourself. Thank you, Chris Bellamy. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, all the people that are watching on Facebook and YouTube. And thank you to the audience here tonight. We'll see you back here next week at 7 o'clock. God bless.
I see the light of those flickering stars. Have I laid Stop.